Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to GeoGuessr again. Uh, today we are continuing our conquest of the world and trying to get gold medals in every single country. Uh, now in my last and you know the, the first episode um, I tried to do this in Norway and I got 24,999 points. Now as it turns out this is enough for gold but one I want 25,000 points so yeah and also, um, I didn't play single player. I played as challenge because I wanted you to play along. But as it turns out, you can only earn explorer medals in single player mode. So we'll go single player and see what we can do this time. I am going to accept a, a gold medal. Uh, that's pretty much all I want because it's so painstakingly terrible to um, to uh, have to get it spot on every time it you always end up with missing by like 20 meters because of you know you, you end up in a long straight road and you can't really tell exactly where you are and then you'll lose some points and that's just how it is I can't be bothered uh, to get 25,000 points on every single one but I would like to have that okay this is a tall road. Lademyn. So that's the interesting part of this. Um, that's probably up to said tall place, place. So we can go down instead and see what we find. Now, I think this would mean I think Lada is somewhere inside of Trondheim so in this area roughly uh, but I'm not sure I'm not sure at all it would also um, make sense with the terrain And we found a blood road. The old road and the valley road. Okay, so up the valley road we find the hollow stream valley. Um, okay. Talshön. Talshön. That's something we can actually maybe find. If it's here, actually, though. Uh, but I won't look too much for that, because I don't know if that's actually what the thing is called. And I can't check every single tiny thing, so I, I'll let it be for now. Uh, tin set, though. Is a place. That is a place. Where is Tunset? Um, that's there. This is Tunset. And now we have to find Talshön. We have to find Talshön. Now let's see, where could that be though? Okay, we, we have Tinset though. We have Tinset. Um, and that's pretty much the only big city in quite some distance, so like there, it could mean we are <laughs> quite a few places. Um, but that's. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's the place name, and that's where we are. Okay, road number 30 is that way. And. We are. By Tolga Kirke. So, road number 30. That's 29, that's 26, where's 30? It's teasing me. Out. Okay, so I have 26, 27, 29. I have 31. Where's 30? 
Where is number 30? Uh, no. Tw 27. Where's... 20... I mean... <laughs> what do they want me to do? I have... You always find all the roads like next to the one you're actually looking for when you're going by the numbers. That's number three right here. Does it turn into something else? That's the E6. Up here. So no. Um, I mean, what the actual twenty-eight? So we have twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty one. And they're all marked with the yellow roads. Um because they're slightly bigger than the than the um local like Fylkes Vai things. Uh Telnesa. Is this relevant? Tolga Hamelan Vingrun. Uh Rybakin. What does this say? It says Rybakin. Okay, let's go down here uh, until we find road number 60, no, 30, I rather, and um, see if we can find anything else that helps us. Because I think this is number 30, probably. Yeah. 30 towards Tunset that way. Okay. I mean, we're making progress, it's just slow progress, and we don't really know where we are regardless. Tinset is... Come on, let me... Can I... Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so I can't actually go that way. That's uh, really great. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. And this thing says... Number 26 is off that way. Okay, so we're on the 26 and the 30 at the same time. Right? No. Yeah? So, Dörmultuna, Dörmultuna, cool, so 26 is number 30, apparently, uh, so I get, and here's number 30, it just is a Fylkesvei instead of a national road, okay, but I think this is where we um, where we came down, I'm pretty sure, because that goes over a bridge, right? This is a bridge over the river here. Yeah, it is. And now we're also technically on road number 26, which is this, and then that, and then this, yeah. Good, 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 good. So, we went up here. We went, let's talk about Kirke. This is where we came from, I think. Let's just make absolutely sure about that. We're going down and down and please down. Yes, good. Good, good. Good. And then we came down to where the road was. 
So yeah, and that's up Dalsveien. Is this Dalsveien? Does it say so? Say so? No. Hulbekken though? This is Hulbekken. That is Hulbekken and that's Hulbek Dal, which means this is probably Hulbekken. And it goes along here. Still there. And then it sort of disappeared, I think. Does that mean it's on the other side now? It does, it does, it does. Great. Uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah. No. Could be over there though, on the other side. I, I don't know. But I think I think this means that we're on the right track. Now what remains is to find out where on this road we are. And to do that, we have to return to start again. And see that we are going south um, west. So this would make sense. And if we turn to the left here, which means like that, we should find a road going off to the right, which is this one here. Good. Which means that, um, let's see, if we turn around this way instead, there is a corner to the left with a road to the right. Corner to the... That's not marked, I think. Or it means we are down. No, no, it can't mean that. Because here we go like this, and there's more like this. And then we get over here, and there's a road there as well. Which would be this one, maybe? Uh, or we could be here. That's also entirely possible. Um, it's a pretty straight bit though, which looks like this. Or this. It goes pretty exactly north-south. Could be this. Hmm. Or it could be this, and that's what I found. Found. Uh, yeah, that sounds not totally improbable. Turn to start. We're right next to like this tiny tendency of a farm track, but that doesn't actually mean anything. It seems. Um, but that thing does. Which direction does this go? It goes. Northwest. That's northwest. That's not northwest. And it also goes up to some houses. There are two of them, to be specific. And that's those two. Yeah, okay. I'm happy saying that this is where we are now. And we're in like the middle bit between those two corners. So we're there. Make us. And that's 5,000 5, points, a good start. Only took us 10 or so minutes. Okay, um, there's a cyclist, I guess. Uh, and I am getting vibes of... Um, of Ringerike, aka this area. This place, I don't know where that is. That's probably the same sign again. And that right there is towards Oslo, 80, no, 52 maybe? Uh, Little halt, maybe. But towards Oslo and going south and not too far away. So, yeah, we, we're up here. Could be there, but I don't think so. And it says, I think it says little halt. 
which would be there. That's the old. And that's pretty close, so we're probably like there, maybe? Roughly? Something all. Uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Let's say. Seems reasonable. Um, let's see. That's uh, this road. We just crossed that road. Uh, there's no tunnel. This makes sense though. That makes sense to be right there. Yeah, it does. Because now we're going like, uh, yeah, six, which this is, is going pretty much. It's going north south, but north east southwest, which it does here. And then it turns slowly to the left, and it does. So yeah, we're there now. And we came from uh, from north. So we're north of that. We are north of that. Let's just plunk it down there. And use the bus stops, I think. Um... Let's see, what's the first bus stop we find? Is this a bus stop? It is. I uh, can't read where this is though. Are there any other bus stops before that? Was it. That's a. Right, that's up to uh, Osplaya. And that's up to Osplaya. Good! And not just that, but I. I think that's a bus stop as well. Yeah, it is. There and there. Which is like this widened area. So that's there. And then there was the previous bus stop. And then there were some houses. And there was a ditch with a river probably. Let's see. Yeah, there's a river running over there. Or under rather. There are houses. And there's road number one and road number two from that thing and then road number three and road number four and there should be one to the right between number two and uh, number three and four so we have the first doesn't, first doesn't count and then there's the big building thing Turn to start. This is that one, I think. Maybe. I can't see the little shed though, but maybe Google counts these hay bales. Uh, and then you have like the. Yeah, that makes it. So this is the first one. So I'd say we're, we're there. Because we're. Now we're facing actually. Yeah, we're facing there, maybe. Yeah. 12 meters off. Uh, still in the points, though. That's good. Good start. Good start. Okay. Now we're not there. Uh, we're back to being further north. But there's so much vegetation, I think... We are probably a bit further south than we were in the first one. Um, no, it's probably the same, roughly, I think. Uh, I mean, we're pretty high up, so uh, it would make sense for there to be less vegetation, but there's still a lot of vegetation. So I'm I'm not sure. I am not sure. I mean it could very well be down in this area. It could also very well very very well be up here. Um
we need the road number. We desperately need a road number or some, some kind of road sign, that's always nice. Dovregubbens Hall. Okay, so, um, Dovra is a, like, um, let's see, where are we? Here, yeah. It is this area? Uh, so, you know, that's always helpful. This could be actually Europe, no Europe road number six. It could be. What does it say here? Please tell me. It is. It is. It is. So, I would guess that we are close to... Um, Yarik. In ish actually that would make sense uh, we went along a lake of some sort and it's on the northern side of the road and the road is going pretty like clearly uh, east actually So we're probably along here, Volashan. Which would mean that there should be Dovregubben's Hall. Ooh, yes, okay. Okay, we're back in the game. Not that we were really out of the game, but we're, we're in the game. We started like in the very beginning on this, of this uh, tiny lake, I think. Volashan, yeah, that makes sense. And here we see one, two, three, four, and a lot of small houses. Could that be this? It could be. Could also be something completely different. Um. I want to guess this though. I really do. Because it's possible these are newer and it only counts like one, two, three, four. That's very possible. That is very possible. Um, let's see. Is it two over there? Would that be. You never know if Google actually includes all the um, all the houses or not. But looking, yeah, looking northwest, more west than north, we should see roughly here some. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. And that would be like. It's facing this way, so it would be not that one, maybe? No. It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. This road here, though, it, it does go out there and then goes back along these um, buildings here. To a degree. It looks like this is water. So it doesn't look completely right. I'll keep going this way for a bit and see if I can find anything. Um, doesn't look like there's much of use over here. It doesn't really. And... That would be like this or something. Uh, here there are more roads going. That's a road going down and along the. So that's this probably. Actually. Yeah. 
and then it cuts down there and it continues yeah that's actually it so we have to be there we just have to yeah I can't see any was there a road on the other side there is and we are smack bang almost in between those slightly off to this side so we do this and we are two meters off we okay this is good this is um what what Uh, uh, what? I've been in this exact location before. Like, th th this specific spot I've been placing before. Uh... Huh. Okay. Now, I just have to remember where that was. I think... Where was it though? Um, let's, see, let's keep going. I'm, it should come back to me soon. I think... It was either... Either in... In here, basically. Or it was off towards the Swedish border. Somewhere in like... Could be as far north as this. Don't think so though. Uh Rulupiela, yeah. This is the E eight. Right. E eight. That's E twelve. Ten. And eight. And E eight continues in here. That's the that's that's the Riviera. And we are there roughly. Let's see, no we're there. Yeah, that's it. Right there. That's where we are. Because um if we go this way. Uh, no, that's the right bend, actually, no. The other way. Yeah, this way, here. We see this road. And this road here leads in like this, so that's right, right, that's that road. And we are, like, we spawn south of that, that road here. That's this way. And we're roughly there. Yeah, that's it. That was easy. <laughs> Stupid. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, last round. We can actually get these like um, twenty-five thousand points now by locking out completely and being placed somewhere I've always been. Uh, not always. I've already been. Uh, but still, okay. So this looks like a river, actually. That runs out, like, ends here. Are there, like, is there a current? Or is there, there is a current. A slight current. And we're on the 718 toward Erissa. Okay. 718. Uh, let's see. It's further north. Way further north. Like this. No, that not not that far north. Uh, not like that either. It's down here. No. It's even further south. Okay. Seven one five. Seven six six. Okay, so probably actually further south than that. Seventy three. 
Towards uh, <laughs> towards Erissa and Foss. There are some uh, some place names that are just so typical and only sound right in the like local dialects. Place like Uddu is uh, <laughs> is just so so typical. But yeah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, Erissa and Foss. Uh, let's end this it. No, this, yeah, this is still 718 here. And it probably goes in here. But this is when it becomes 715. So we're along this road. Okay, and then it is sun force is all we need then. Now where is that? Uh, uh, Hasselvika is also something we can find. That's there. Um, and... We're on Uddevein, apparently. Uh, which means that we're probably standing right there. And I think we spawned in there. I think so. Turn to start. Yeah, we did. We did. Okay, now exactly where are we? We are next to this tiny road up to these houses. Uh, which would be this one, quite probably. Uh, or maybe, no. Where are their houses? Um, there's a draft here, if you can hear that. Um, yeah, okay. So this houses are fairly new you can see the uh, the uh, the rocks uh, are pretty newly like terraformed and there's not moss on them yet so these houses are new and so it's quite possible that Google hasn't actually marked them yet um, but yeah this road here goes um, north it parts off going pretty much just west, uh, like this, or like this, or even better where we are, like, uh, nah, not really like this though, because it doesn't like go north at all. It goes over there immediately. So can we go even further? But I can't actually find anything that would suit this up there. And we are like there's, there's there's this giant body of water and I'd say it stretches in there. There's like a tiny tiny creek there which would probably be this one maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're over from that one, which is just there. Uh, it's a bit difficult to pinpoint exactly, actually, because I can't find this stream. Um, that would help. But there is this house here that's just next to the road, and there has to be some kind of driveway up to that house. And it's not here, so it has to be on the other side. Which means that this road has to go all the way up there. Which, again, means that uh, could be this one, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's find the uh, Direndal Big Charging Station. That's marked on the map. There's nothing down here 
whatsoever. But something's being built down there. And that could be this. Actually, it could be. Could very well be. It's so difficult. Yeah, we're looking over at this, like, divide, like this peninsula almost, in the river. So, I'm leaning more towards us being over here, actually. But then there's this road, and there's nothing here, actually. Oh, this is annoying. This is difficult. This is so difficult. And we're definitely on the north side. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. So this road goes down there and just disappears. Which is this one. That's fine. And that road continues on all the way over there. Here's the road going like up into nothing. And it's not even marked. Not even marked. Uh, it should be like in this area. And then if we keep going here, I think this road is longer than it's made out to be in this case. But as it goes down here, it turns out in this area and that's probably where like this thing bulges out. So that's there. So we're there now. Or uh, now we're there. And then, then, finally, maybe, if we return to start, we are even further up the road, uh, up the road, but not that far, not that far. So I can't guess anywhere but, like, being here. I can't actually find this road, which is a bit alarming, but there's a house here that's just, like, squeezed up next to the uh, road, which has to be this one. With this and like these seem a bit older, which should be these. Uh, which is why I think we are just like there. That's where we start. Where, where we are. And it is exactly that's twenty five thousand points, people. That's amazing. And that's a gold medal. Ooh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we uh, to re uh, to recap, we um, struggled a bit with this one, and then this one was uh, rather easy because I just recognized the area and I've cycled there a couple of times before, and then um, this one I was <laughs> extremely lucky with because I've actually spawned there in GeoGuessr before, which is just it's just, <laughs> just ridiculous, and um, it means I maybe played a bit too much GeoGuessr. This one was um, was um, I mean we we found the Dobra part, which and, and it looks a bit like a big road, and there aren't that many roads up here because it's a mountainous area, so um, it wasn't too hard. And this one is um we were lucky to find to like go the right way and find the uh seven eighteen uh road number. But I do think I mean going this way wouldn't have been that hard yet either. And I because of reasons <laughs> I've been looking at this place uh in Google Maps before. So um so it wasn't actually that like difficult either. Uh, so that's that's a, a lot of luck, I'd say, with like where we were placed. And you kind of need that to finish in less than less than an hour and still get twenty five thousand points. You can't have terrible places like I'm. I'm not looking that much forward to to Russia because you can be lucky and get some place in Moscow or Saint Petersburg. Um, and you can also be unlucky and be placed in Karelia. Which is um, le less ideal. So yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I think next time I am going with some other European country. I'm not sure which one yet. 
that's gonna be fun. See you then.